So, here we are, we're on the final, final lap. Um, and finally, um, what I wanted to do um, was put up some, uh, I've called them maxims, but they're, they're, they're sort of attempts at CIO one-liners. Uh, they're, they're not meant to be funny, um, but they're meant to be useful. <laughs> um, they might be funny a little, um, but we'll see. Anyway, so CIO maxim. If you outsource your brain, you outsource your wallet. Um, so every outsourcer, wherever they come from, whichever country they come from, their job, they probably say it isn't, but you know, actually, really what they want to do is to remove your ability as CIO IT director to choose. They want to claw their way up the value chain. And that's fine, that's the game, we all know it is. But if you lose control of how your technology is put together, how it comes together, how it relates to your business, what's commodity, what's leading edge, all that good stuff. If you do that, if you lose control of that, you have outsourced your wallet. Don't do it. Um, a top person in business or politics or the civil service should no more say I don't understand my IT than they would I don't understand my balance sheet. I think this is the English disease. I don't think and I hasten to add, you know, for the record, um, this is not true of where I worked or where I work at the moment. But, you know, you go around the place and you hear people say, I don't understand technology, it's too difficult. You would not hear that from an important person, a serious person in San Francisco or Boston or Bangalore or Shanghai. You know, it is just not acceptable these days in the second decade of the 21st century to pretend you don't understand technology. It would be like somebody saying, I don't, I can't read a balance sheet. If somebody said that to a board, they'd be sacked. It ought to be the same. Doesn't mean they should try and do our job. That's our job to be CIO. But it is really important that I think, you know, we, you know, encourage you know, that technology matters so much to Britain's, UK's competitivity. You know, we really need, and Karen uh, from eSkills is in the audience, we absolutely have to invest in our people, in our GCE courses, in our degree courses, in our apprenticeships, in our on-the-job training to be really excellent at technology. Doesn't mean we have to do it all ourselves in this country. But if we can't do technology in the UK, if top people can't understand it, we've had it. It really does matter. It is the you know, entry price you know, for the rest of this century. Strategy is about choices. IT strategy is about choosing where you want IT to be commodity, fast follower, or where leading edge. I talked about that a bit earlier. I do think it's terribly important. Every organization tries to be best at everything. You can't be. You have to make choices, and that really is what strategy is. A company that rejects social networking should adopt a dodo as its logo. And here's a dodo. I really do think you have to do this. Um, I happen to like it, but I don't think it's optional these days. If you're not frightened, you either don't understand the job of CIO or you're not really CIO. Um, I do enjoy being CIO. I love it, but, <laughs> well, just before this talk, <laughs> I was certainly scared to death uh, in a different way. But, you know, those big cutovers, you know, I really, really don't like being there. Um, I, I know um, the sort of the, the Pauline, who's a colleague of mine, has, uh, has, you know, really quite enjoys things like that. Um, I don't. Um, I, I'm really quite scared because I know what's riding on it. Um, and actually, what you're doing is you're trusting people. At the end of the day, however really good a manager or really good a leader, a really good technologist you are or how much code you could write, you can't test everything. At the end of the day, you're trusting your suppliers, your people, your project managers to get it right. And it's actually, at the end of the day, your accountability and your judgment. And that can be, you know, quite frightening. So if you don't have um, queasy moments, I don't think you're really doing the job. But you've probably got tougher skin than me. Um, I say I've learned the hard way that IT is a team sport. I, I think you do need your flashy strikers, uh, you know, going to weave uh, around uh, the opposition.
but you do need some, uh, you know, really workmanlike defenders for those, uh, you know, cold Saturdays in February uh, when uh, things do get tough. Um, and as I say, you know, you know, when something goes down, goes wrong, you're going to be dependent on the skills of everyone there. And it may be a little regarded legacy system that was put in 15 years ago, but you are going to rely on somebody knowing how it works, how it interacts, where the issues are. And when they solve it, you're going to want to hug them. Or oh, I do, anyway. Um, you know, because you know, they knew how it all fitted together. Um, so it really is a team sport. And I think there's some really interesting issues um, there about how you reward people and you know, how you, you know, get the right behaviors from folks. Because you do need to reward the stars appropriately, but you also need to recognize uh, that the whole thing, because it all relates together, wouldn't work unless everybody knew what they were doing. And finally, of course, there are no IT projects, only business projects, which is the one thing, if you Google me, um, hopefully you will uh, uh, find. And I came up with this years ago, and it really, really resonated. And it really, really is important, and it works, you know, which is all we are there for, because we are IT directors, chief information officers, is to deliver the technology that the business leads, whether that's leading edge or legacy or commodity at the price that the business wants. So everything we do should be about the business. And even if that's putting in a new, uh, you know, uh, a, a new refresh, you know, the only reason for spending the money is it actually delivers business benefit and it, you know, is needed because you need to be secure. And if you can't explain why you need to do it for business reasons, you should really, really think again. So, all being well, uh, you end up bestriding the, uh, the business uh, like a, a, a colossus, uh, if you do these things. Here's uh, Augustus, who uh, had a good run for his money. Um, and then there's somebody at the bottom saying, I want my iPad on there. Um, next. So... That really is it. Uh, over to you, questions and answers. This is the Ides of March. Uh, there he is being stabbed um, by uh, there, so I hope it's not going to be quite like that. Um, but uh, thoughts and questions. Simon, are you going to be master of ceremonies? That's what I would like to do. Thank everybody for giving uh, a sincere round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much.